fried rice is the perfect all-in-one meal. You've got your protein, you've got your veg, and you got your carbs. Let me show you how to make basic fried rice. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, Duties Behind the Camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. I love fried rice. I love it because it is so easy to make and it is really a quick lunch and often you have all the ingredients you need at home. And that means no running to the store. Several of you have been requesting a recipe for Yang Chao Chao Fan, which is Yang Chao fried rice. And it really is a very basic Cantonese style fried rice, starting with my green onion because that's one of the very few things to chop up. So I'm just gonna chop this up for garnish and this will add some aromatics because this recipe actually doesn't have a lot of um, aromatics in it. Like I don't use green onions or uh, garlic or anything like that. So it's really very simple. If you want to, you of course can add it to your fried rice, but um, green onions also adds flavor. Okay, gonna set that aside. Yang Chao fried rice usually has cha siu in it, at least the ones that I've tried. So I have some leftover cha siu, and this is just Chinese barbecued pork, you know, those ones that are hanging in the barbecue shops. And I have about six ounces here, so about 200 grams. And I'm just gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces. And the cha siu also has a lot of flavor in it already. So that's another reason why we don't need to add a whole lot of other flavors. If you don't have cha siu, you can use Chinese sausage or ham, Chinese ham, just and something that you like. Use bacon if you want. Or spam. Oh, dude's favorite, spam fried rice. See, when you chop it all up, look at all the meat you get. I also have 12 little shrimp, and you can use bigger shrimp and cut them down, or baby shrimp, it's totally up to you. You don't even have to use shrimp, really. You can use whatever you want to put in your fried rice, whatever protein you like, chicken, fish, whatever you like. I have three eggs that I'm going to beat. Actually, you know what? Someone asked me if you make fried rice without egg. Go ahead but I like fried rice with eggs. And eggs are something that we almost always have at home. I have half a cup of frozen peas, typically in Yang Chao Chao Fan, Yang Chao fried rice. People like to use peas and carrots, but I really dislike carrots in my fried rice. But if you like them, by all means, add them. Now that I have all my ingredients ready to go, and that's really important because the cooking part is really fast, I'm gonna turn my wok on to a medium high, and I want to cook my eggs first. That's why the wok needs to be hot, hot. If you don't have a wok, you can use a large frying pan. I like to use a wok because it's easy to move all the ingredients around, but a large frying pan would do as well. Once you see that wisp of smoke, and add one tablespoon of avocado oil or whatever oil you're using. Use a neutral oil, something that doesn't have a lot of flavor. Don't use olive oil. Olive oil will burn very quickly. When your wok is hot and your oil is cold, food should not stick. I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna remove the egg when it's about 80% done. And put it back in that bowl. I'm turning my wok back on to medium, adding a touch more oil. I'm gonna add my shrimp. Stir fry this until it's cooked through. 
turning off the heat because it's getting kind of smoky. And the shrimp is almost done. I'm using about 12 little shrimp. It's probably about four ounces. I'm gonna take this out. Putting it into a clean bowl. Okay, turning the heat back on to medium. No need to add more oil. I'm gonna put in my chasu. I'm gonna heat this through because this is already cooked. If you're using a raw meat, like say you want to use bacon, you'd have to cook it through. Just remember that might add some more time to your cooking. Okay, so once the chasu is kind of heated through, I'm gonna add my rice. So I have about three to four cups of leftover rice that's cold from the fridge. The reason why we like to use leftover rice is because the rice is cold, it's dry, it gives an opportunity for the um, rice to soak up all the flavors and just makes for a better fried rice. If you use freshly cooked rice, there's a high chance of it being soggy. You don't want that. So let's kind of heat the rice through. And by pressing it down a little bit as the heat goes through, you'll be able to separate the kernels of rice. We're getting there. Just keep pressing it down until all the white clumps have separated. Okay, we're also gonna add a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm gonna add my peas now because they need to be cooked. They were frozen. And the moisture from the peas will also help. Now we typically eat jasmine rice. So that's Thai rice. It makes a perfect Chinese fried rice, but you can use whatever rice you, you normally eat. I think every culture has their own fried rice recipes. That was just about a minute that you want to cook the peas. And if you're using carrots, um, if you're using frozen carrots, it won't take long. But if you're using fresh carrots, you might want to cook them at the beginning before adding all the other things because carrots will take time to cook through. I'm going to add my eggs back in. Break them up a little bit. Add my shrimp, give it a toss. Okay, I'm turning off the heat. I'm just gonna add a little bit of ground white pepper, maybe about a quarter teaspoon. And last but not least, the green onions. My mom used to say, if you're making fried rice, and you don't have enough stuff, but you still want it to be filling, you just add more rice. And if you have a lot of stuff, but you don't have enough rice, that's okay too. There really is no have to's in this recipe. Again, I just really want to teach you guys how to cook and not necessarily follow a recipe, but typical ingredients in a Yang Chow fried rice is shrimp and a pork, usually chow siu, eggs, peas and carrots, and rice but again, you can add whatever you like. And I have a ton, not a ton, I have several fried rice recipes available in my cookbook, Chinese home style, and also a couple in a daily special. We know everything is really expensive right now and we're feeling it too. And so we've lowered the price of all of our cookbooks because we want to be able to help you guys with recipes help you save money and to eat well at home. And we really hope that this little bit will help you guys. Okay, getting this onto a plate. It makes us so much. This will feed our family for dinner tonight. Might even have some leftovers. When we were little, my dad would ask us to like pick out all the green onions for him. Till at least we got a little bit older and smarter and we're like, no, you don't want the green onions. You pick them out yourself. All right, you're all ready for? Definitely. 
You want to watch me eat all this rice? Let's get some of this goodness into the bowl. Yeah. Nice aroma. And you can see all the different textures happening in there. That's what you get in terms of um, a presentation on the fried rice. This is another one of those dishes when you go out to eat and your parents would order it. You just take it for granted. It's like, oh, rice? Fried rice? Like, where's the deep fried stuff? More flavors to appreciate now. Mmm. I love eggs and the fried rice. Yep, totally agree, Kaya. Oh, a shrimp. Tender and just a wholesome meal. Make your fried rice your own. Customize it. I mean, this is the basic fried rice that you can mod, adjust, upgrade, however you want to do it. But do it. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Super basic. Again, you can add whatever you want to your fried rice. For other fried rice recipes, check it out in my cookbook, Chinese Homestyle.